Okay, Michael Brown at Solar Ray. Uh, we were asked some questions. Hey, this is Felipe from Miami, Florida. Recently, my parents got a solar panel installed right above their bedroom on the roof of our house, but they've been complaining that our, their room is about five or 10 degrees hotter than the rest of the house. Is there a way to prevent this? Thank you. Well, that's possible if it was a building integrated solar installation. And what that means is, did they use uh, solar tiles or solar shingles or some type of actual roofing material as the actual solar cells or solar panels? Um, because, let me demonstrate, this is what you get with a solar panel. This is uh, um, not really that available anymore. This is a silver frame with a white back sheet. You can still get black frame with a uh, white back sheet, but uh, unfortunately, one of the most common things is uh, black on black on black. It just looks like one big black monolith. And let me show you. Let me show you the temperatures, and then we'll go into we'll go inside, so it's not so hot. So here we are. Okay, so here is the temperature gauge here, and this is on a solar cell on the surface, right? So 154 degrees right there in the middle of the cell, okay? Now I'm going to show you just a couple other things just real quick. Now that's hold. I let go of the trigger, so it's on hold right now, but it'll go again. Now I'm going to aim the laser at the white right in between the cells right there. Well, actually, we're still 153, 153, a little bit difference. But let's go right here. Look at that on the frame right there, 128. So uh, over um, 20 degrees difference, OK? Now, here's a roofing product, OK? This is a, a, a slate shingle. Um, let's see what that runs, 174 degrees. OK, now the, the, the reason there's a little bit of reflectiveness uh, to this, this is not. Um, but we have this same exact uh, product. OK, 170 is probably I've put some shade. Yeah, I was actually aiming it at the shade right underneath that. Just a little bit of shade. In fact, see, just the shade from my hand makes a big difference as to direct sunlight. OK, <clears throat> now we mounted one of these in a traditional manner and get the picture so you can actually see this is actual mounting hardware and the way it would be mounted on your roof if it was a traditional installation. OK, now see, look at this. So this would be your roof under here if you had a regular traditional solar installation. OK, and then uh, so we're looking at that temperature there. Now come here, this is gonna surprise you. So let's look at this again, let's look at the solar cell. Okay, we're at 144, okay. Now look at this here, Vladimir, come over here so you can see it over here. Now we're gonna go on the back, the very back of the module, right? So we're at 144, right? So we're actually hotter on the back, right? And that's because this is a substrate. There's no wind going over it or anything else like that. So you're actually hotter back here. So um, just quickly, if it was a building integrated product, all that heat would be transferred directly to your building. So your building would be hotter, considerably hotter than let's say here. This is, this is something, this is just out here. Okay, so we'll look at this. So 144, which is about equal to the surface temperature of the solar module itself. However, the back is hotter. And the reason is because these are built to be, anti or, uh, to be uh, light absorbent. However, because they're exposed to air, then they dissipate that more. And it's glass, so it dissipates heat. It's not a heat sink. However, the materials behind it are, OK? So, uh, uh, and here, come here, let's look at this too. So this is the rail just beyond here. Okay, so this is just that distance. So 120, not even 120. 
okay? So we're looking at more than a 20 degree difference just if you have a little bit of a gap, okay? So real quickly, if it's a building integrated where the building uh, materials are actually on the, uh, uh, um, they are the solar cells, you're gonna be much hotter. Um, and also if you see those solar systems where they're trying to make it very aesthetically pleasing, so they put those little blockers and so it makes it look like it just smooths down here so you don't have this gap and everything else like that. Well, now you don't have any air circulation in there and you end up with this oven. And as you saw, the temperatures behind the module are higher than even the surface of the module. So if you don't allow the air to circulate under there, you will end up with an oven. Whereas, uh, and I wish we had a cloud going over because I could show you how quickly the temperature will dissipate from the surface here in the absence of sunlight. And that wouldn't happen behind here if you had these air dams on here and or it was building integrated where you were using this as like an oven. Uh, so there's nowhere, to, you're not allowing that heat to dissipate. Uh, and also if it was integrated into the building. So um, in reality, you're looking at something that is uh, more than 20 degrees, the surface of the roof, it's going to be more than 20 degrees than the module itself. And see, we were less than 120 degrees there on the surface. And here we are, 167, 166. So 40 degrees difference between the roof surface exposed to the sun and the roof surface behind a solar module that is open in the back and is on your standard mounting uh, practice. Okay, Michael Brown, there's another demonstration <laughs> coming to you live from Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Thank you very much.